How's it going everybody? My name is Mr. Boring and I am going to review this amazing gym that was hidden from me. So, um, I didn't really know what to expect with this game. I didn't think too much of it. I thought it was going to be meh. Um, I got a review code and I'm, I played it all the way through and all I can say is I was completely wrong. This game was actually really fun. There was a lot of different things you could do in this game. Uh, I mean, I would, I say a lot. I mean, the story was very immersive. I liked it a lot. I'm giving story and immersion a three out of this. And I'll tell you why. The story uh, was pretty interesting. It was super cool. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I enjoyed how everything played together. I enjoyed how the story unfolded, and I was pretty satisfied with the ending. Um, An immersion because whenever you discover one of these big things in the ocean, your eyes kind of light up like there was things I wasn't even expecting I was gonna see and it was super cool like the statue you guys saw when I first saw that hand I was scared shitless I was like what the fuck is that it's about to grab me or some shit like it was cool it scared me it was nice um, gameplay I'm gonna give that one a three out of three too and uh, you guys if you don't know anything about my reviews I'm sorry I should have probably said before um, I do a three-point system for five different things, uh, leaving a total of 15 points. So, you know, I kind of just go like that. And I, so the points are dedicated to a, you can get a 15 out of 15's max. So, yeah, three out of three is probably the best, well, it is the best you can get. Um, so all three of those get three stars so far because gameplay while the only issue I had was like a slow turning, like if you're trying to turn completely around from where you were, I mean, that's the only issue that I came up with. And to be honest, it didn't really even bother me that much to deduct a point. Uh, the controls are simple. Um, there's not a whole lot you need to remember. It's just a lot of fun puzzle solving and uh, just an adventure to experience. Um, so replayability, I gave that one a 2 out of 3 because this game interested me enough to want to get back into it. I want to go back down there and try to find, you know, hidden things that the developers probably put down there, uh, just for fun, you know, just kind of see how interesting the developers were and like maybe they put in some awesome Easter egg or something. Uh, so that intrigues me, it makes me want to try to go back in it. Also. Uh, I have a couple friends who are super interested in, like, deep sea diving and, like, oceans and stuff. I feel like this would be something I would show them. Uh, the story's great. I mean, if someone wants to experience a good two-hour story or, like, an... I mean, to be honest, it was more like an hour and a half. Uh, I'd say this is a great one to show them. Uh, so, yeah. Replayability, two out of three. Because, I mean, while I'm not, like, I'm going to play this again and again... I mean, I can definitely show friends. Lastly, I'm going to go over price point with this game. Strictly because, you know, it, it really kind of depends on the price with this game. It's priced on the C Steam store, rather, sorry, for 8 bucks. Um, knowing Sony, maybe. I mean, I'd, I might not even fucking know Sony. They might put it on here for $9.99. I would do that still. This game is definitely worth 10 bucks. I mean, honestly, you get about maybe an hour and a half in for the game. Uh, but, I mean, it's the story itself makes it worth playing. The experience of finding all this stuff under the ocean, that's really, really cool. Um, I mean... I would, I'd still pay like twelve bucks for this thing. I mean, knowing Space Rift was like nine bucks. I mean, I would probably use that as your safety net. Maybe just stay around the nine ninety nine range if that's how much it's gonna be. 
I tried looking at how much the price would be, but I couldn't find it for PlayStation. But yeah, no, it's like eight bucks on Steam. So I mean, I would pay the extra two bucks and pay for ten bucks here. So yeah, no, this game's totally worth that much. So if that's where the price point is, I mean, I'm just gonna assume it is. Then yeah, go for it, man. Three out of three for pricing. It's totally worth getting for the price. So let's tally up them points, bro. Uh, we got a grand total for three for story, three for grand gameplay, three for immersion, three for pri uh, two. Blah, 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 sorry, uh, two for replayability, and three for pricing, which leaves you at a grand total of fourteen points. Uh, 14 out of 15 ain't bad, I gotta say. And I know my point system's kind of fucked up and weird. I'm still trying to figure it out. If you have any recommendations on how I should do my point system, let me know. I will happily, uh, adjust it for your liking. Um, I would like to end it off there. Uh, there's my review. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you're doing well. And I will see you guys later.